Armstrong wins the time trial and wins the Tour de France. In professional sports, the stakes are high. Athletes want to win. It's you versus the clock, you versus the other competitors, you against yourself. Is there any stopping the Lance Armstrong in this Tour de France? And there's big money. Some will do whatever it takes to be the best. We live in a performance-enhanced world, so, so we have performance-enhancing drugs and sports. Mayo Clinic Dr. Michael Joyner is an anesthesiologist whose research focuses on understanding elite athletes, how they reach maximum performance. He says it's all about oxygen delivery to the body's tissues. One of the things that determines the maximum ability of somebody to use oxygen is how many red blood cells they have circulating around in their body. Blood doping is an effort to raise the number of blood cells by taking blood out, storing it, and then reinfusing it later. Red blood cells carry oxygen to the body's tissues. When the stored blood is returned to the body, there's a sudden boost of red blood cells. Those cells carry higher than normal amounts of oxygen to muscles, enhancing performance. The other thing people do is use a drug called erythropoietin or EPO to boost the body's natural production of red blood cells. An injection of EPO stimulates your bone marrow to make more red blood cells, boosting levels of oxygen getting to your muscles and boosting performance. Just kind of the body's own factory that makes red cells gets cranked up. Both techniques are not just for athletic enhancement. They're also needed in the medical world. EPO is used to help keep up red blood counts, such as for people on dialysis. And removing blood to put back later is common during surgery. But you're not going to stop the onslaught of Lance Armstrong. Still, blood doping for performance enhancement is illegal in the sports world. And Dr. Joyner suspects that as long as the stakes are high, some athletes will be tempted to dope. I think the athletes would tell you that they would be happy to not dope if they were convinced the playing field was level. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.